now we're finally getting into the meat of chapter 7. And so in this lesson, we're going to introduce the power rule for logs. And we're going to use it to solve exponential equations. So today we're going to solve exponential equations with different bases. And then understand and memorize the power rule of logarithms. All right, so what we know so far when it comes to solving exponential equations is that if I have an exponential equation and if I can make the bases the same, then I can set the exponents equal to each other. We've been working with that. We've been you know, solving exponential equations that way. But we have not addressed the issue of what if my bases are different? So like 3 to the x equals 6. There is no way I can make 6 into 3 to some exponent. Now if you're thinking, Mr. Duvall, what about 3 squared? 3 squared is 9, so don't go there. <laughs> but we need more properties to be able to help us with this situation. So we're going to introduce the power rule for logarithms. And says for any positive number m, any logarithmic base a, and any real number p. We can use this formula here. And so if you look at it, it just looks like they took the exponent and they move it to the front. So let's look at that. So first example here, I have log base a of 11 to the negative third power. I could take that I can move that to the front, and so I get negative 3 times log base a of 11. Now, just want to point out, you could do the opposite. I could also take this and move it up here if I wanted to, but for now, we're just going to understand that I can take the exponent and move it in front of the logarithm. So for this one here, I can rewrite that fourth root into four, 7 to the 1 fourth. Right, because that's 7 to the first, and then that 4 goes in the denominator. I can take that 1 fourth due to this property, and I can move it to the front. And it could even be with ln. Right? We're going to introduce ln. We're going to talk about what ln is in these coming lessons. But ln is a type of log. I just want to talk about it right now. It is log base e. Okay, So we're going to see this base e language. And so ln is just log base e just like how if we just write log, log is the same as log base 10. That's just something we have to memorize. So this is a log, and I can take that 6 and I can move it to the front. So how does that relate to our example? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this exponential equation that I can't manipulate, and I'm going to turn it into a log. And so I'm going to taking log to both sides. So now I get log 3 to the x equals log 6. Because I did this, I can now take this x and I can move it to the front. And so I get x log 3 equals log 6. And then solving for x, since it's x times log 3, I can divide both sides by log 3. And so I get x equals log 6 all over log 3. And that's my answer. Now this is something that we would take and enter into our calculator. Now notice I used log. I didn't do log base 3. I didn't do log base anything. I just used log. Now the reason why I used log is because that's the log that's in your calculator. And so if you enter that in your calculator, you should get 1.63 approximately 1.63 and that's your value that's your answer so the trick here is that by converting it into a log I was able to take whatever X in the exponent and move it to the front now let's look at a, one that's a little bit more complicated and the only reason why is, is there's a little bit more algebra involved but it's basically the same thing so same idea 7 1.22 no way I can make them the same so I'm going to take log to both sides. So I'm going to get log 7 equals log 1.22 to the x plus 2 exponent. 
So now I can take that and move it to the front. So I get log 7 equals x plus 2 times log 1.22. So now I have to distribute. And so distributing this log 1.22 with both of these, I'm going to get x log of 1.22 plus 2 log 1.22, and that still equals log 7. Now we have to envision this as a number. It's a number, but it's just in its exact form as log 2 log 1.22. So I want to move that to the other side. So minus 2 log 1.22. So I'm going to rewrite it up here. So I have log 7 minus 2 log 1.22. And that's going to equal x log 1.22. And now I can divide both sides by log 1.22. So that cancels out. And so I get x equals log 7 minus 2 log 1.22 all over log 1.22. And so this is something that we would enter into our calculator. We just have to be careful. Some things we have to make sure that, you know, I put the top in parentheses when we go to enter it in because we don't want to mess up with the order of operations. Also, if you notice, it, I would practice entering our calculator as even when we speak. When you typically put a log, it shows a parentheses, you should close that parentheses, right? So after you enter the value in there, make sure you close that parentheses. If it doesn't show a parentheses, you should enter in the parentheses yourself. So for example, you would put the parentheses in as you enter into your calculator. And make sure you close those parentheses. So if you enter that in there, 7.7 nine. All right, so I want you guys to go ahead and practice and solve. Uh, go ahead and pause here and go ahead and work on a few of these and I'll go over them. All right, so let's talk about it. So for this first one here, if you do log to both sides, so you should get log 5 equals log 2.25 to the x. We can move that x to the front. So you get log 5 equals log x log 2.225. And then divide both sides by the log 2.25. And that's what you would enter in your calculator for part b. All right, let's go over it. So log to both sides. So I get log 3.5 to the x equals log 10. That moves to the front. So I get x log 3.5 equals 1. <gasps> Wait, why did I do that? Because log 10, right? Log base 10 of 10 is just 1. Divide both sides by log 3.5. Now, you didn't have to change it to 1. If you just left it as log 10 and you entered that in your calculator, you'd get the same thing. So no worries. For C, divide both sides by 2. We want to make sure that we don't have any coefficients. For this one, though, I can make the bases the same. So if you could make the bases the same, you don't have to do this. So this is just going to be 2 to the 3x, 64, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, 32, 64. Bases are the same, so divide both sides by 3, x equals 2. So in that one right there, I didn't have to do anything. Now for part D. Now this one divide both sides by 2 
to the x isn't the exponent. You'd have to take the eighth root to both sides. And so x equals, now the way that we'd enter that in our calculator would be 64 up caret 1 over 8. And so if we enter that in our calculator, I'll do that right now, 64 up caret, that was a weird parenthesis, 1 divided by 8. So I get x equals 1.68. All right, so what did we learn today? Well, we talked about the power property of logarithms, and then we talked about the how to solve exponential equations with different bases. So how did we solve an exponential equation with a different base? We took log to both sides. We could also take ln to both sides. I'm not going to talk about that just yet, but we took log to both sides, and that allowed us to then use that property of logarithm, and then we moved that to the front. What would another alternative way to solve these be? To be continued. This does conclude our lesson. If we have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.